What's going on everybody? I'm gonna bring you guys a gameplay against the New York Knicks. This was another early season game, but it was a very, very good one, <laughs> which is why I'm going to upload it on the channel. Honestly, most of the games are very good, but this one uh, in particular came down to the clutch, clutch fourth quarter, and that's always exciting to see. And since this is still the start of the season, you'll see a lot of misses from both teams. We're still learning our shots and the timing. Because it's very tough to shoot on 2K23 if you haven't played this game yet. So my opponent's starting lineup included Carl Anthony Towns and Shy Gilgis Alexander as his first two picks. So that's a really great... Whoa. <laughs> Sorry, it's my first commentary in a while, so kind of rusty. That's a great duo to start a team with. And my opponent at the time of this video, I think he was 9-1. and one. So he only had one defeat. So he is a pretty good opponent. On this play right here, I was just being patient with it. I wasn't sure if I wanted to drive, but I wanted to see what my defense was doing too. Because he was sagging in the paint a little bit, forcing me to shoot. So that's why I took that shot there and Capello with a nice defense on Jordan Poole. So this game is a lot of back and forth. I don't know how um, LaMarcus Aldridge is still <laughs> in this game. He's been playing in the, in the league for so long, but he's still a beast. So... He gets into paint here with Jordan Poole. Jordan Poole is such a problem, man. He's so fast. And my defenders can't... Um, how do you say this? My defenders can't stay in front of him. No matter how I position myself, he's just really, really quick. So, Jordan Poole's a problem. But look at that. <laughs> Kyle Lowry gets him right back. He got his ankles broken. The same way John Morant broke his ankles in the playoffs. So it's a four-point game in Shy Alexander with the nice mid-perfect release. So this first quarter or first half was really a struggle. We only have 12 points after the first quarter. So this should tell you about his defense, how good he is on defense, and also how our offense was struggling. But we get a nice and one with James Harden right there. So defensively, his team is really good. He has Gary Payton. He also has Andre Iguodala. He also has Jeremy Grant. They're all versatile defenders. They could switch. And Shai is also 6'7 as a point guard. So his team is really good defensively. Which is why I'm struggling. <laughs> and also missing shots. But you got to credit to my opponent. James Harden to the paint. Tough, tough layup. It's only a 5 point game. So he gets into the rim again with Jordan Poole. He's too quick for my defenders. And he is up by 7 at this point. This is probably the slowest post-up of all time. I don't know why that was so slow, but James Harden got the job done. He's driving into the paint with Jordan Poole this time. And we actually get a stop this time. One thing I noticed in this game is that I wasn't too disciplined defensively. I was jumping a lot on his pump fakes, so that's one thing I gotta improve on. Kelly Oubre wide open, but I missed my shot. That was great offense, good ball movement. We just got to knock down the shot next time. James Harden with the signature step back right there. I miss. Kelly Oubre with the put back dunk. So now it's back to a five point lane. Jordan Poole, nice dribble, three point shot. He did a nice size up to a three. I didn't expect him to shoot it like that because he was driving into the paint most of the time. And speaking into driving into the paint, Drillin Brooks gets into the rim right there. We're bringing a double team on Carl Anthony Downs. But I don't know why my double team went away and it was single coverage with Uber and he obviously got that basket. It's a huge mismatch. But I'm going to get my revenge with Uber. I'm going to get back into the rim and get a dunk. So a nice play right here for Andrew Wiggins. Instead of shooting the mid-range shot, I saw the lane was wide open. And that's what Wiggins does best. So he's running another good play right here for Shy. He gets wide open for a three. He greens it. So at this moment, I am down by 11 points. Wiggins with a clutch three-pointer in the corner. A huge three-pointer because the momentum was clearly in his favor. So I'm down by nine here. A nice screen from Dillian Brooks. A close green shot with James Harden. I said close because I thought I was going to miss that, but it's a green bean. 
Nice drive by James Harden right here. We're gonna get the nice scoop layup to go and it's back to a six point game. Nice screen, James Harden with another three point shot. So back to back triples for James Harden. I'm finally greening the releases and that's such a good feeling. Jordan Poole into the paint. I don't jump for the first two fakes but he pump fake another time and I jumped. Like I said, this game I wasn't too disciplined with my jumping. So he pump faked a lot of times in the paint. Nice size up dribbles by James Harden. That's a move that he does in real life. Those dribble moves into that crossover. But I just missed that layup. He's going to try to get into the paint again with Jordan Poole. He's so shifty. He gets by Danny Green. Dillian Brooks doesn't even bump him. He just pushes him a little bit. So it's a 7 point game right now. I'm going to drive into the rim with Kyle Lowry. And we're going to get the basket to go. So it's back to a 5 point game. He's going to get into the paint with Jordan Poole, but this time we're there defensively. We beat him to the spot. Nice contest. This is going to be a nice double screen for James Harden. I decide to go the opposite direction and get a wide open dunk. So this game is closed, but we can't close the gap. But we're going to try our best. We leave Gary Payton open to help out on Shy. And I see Dylan Brooks leaking on the other side, and we get the dunk. Oh, that was Andrew Wiggins, my bad. My screen is so small, I can barely see the players. <laughs> so give it to Capella in the paint. We got a mismatch. He brings the double team, kick it out to Ubre. But this time, we green the shot. If you're wide open, don't be scared to take your time. A lot of people get nervous and they rush their shot. Nice contest by Capella, but he gets his own rebound back. And Carl Anthony Towns is not going to miss that twice. This is back to a four-point game. Only a few minutes left to go. James Harden with the crossover, but Gary Payton gets the block. I didn't expect him to get that block. But that was a good defensive stop. And now Shai Alexander is trying to cook up. He gets into the paint and gets a dunk. So it's a six point game. We're going to use another different play double screen. If the first one doesn't work, they're going to set another double screen. That's why I love that play so much. And James Harden gets an and one in the paint. So that play I just used, I really love it because you get to be patient with it. You get to read the defense. They set a double screen two times. You could shoot a three or get a basket in the paint. This time I don't jump for the pump fakes and we actually get a stop in the paint. So that was a big stop. We're going to try to score on this possession to tie the game or bring it within one. Wide open shot with James Harden, but I miss. Nice offensive putback. Danny Green with another chance and I miss again. That was so close to a green. Like, I honestly thought that was going to be a perfect release, but it wasn't. We're going to keep it simple this time. Capella pick and roll with James Harden. Nice pass and a nice dunk. It's so only a one-point game. Can we get a stop? Shy Alexander gets into the paint. No defensive resistance on that possession. It's a three-point basketball game. We're going to try to see what play the computer runs. Because I think I set it to automatic for this game. Kelly Oubre had a wide open shot, but I decided not to take it. I decided to take the better one with James Harden in the rim. In the rim. So now it's back to a one point game. So he's going to get into the paint with Shy again. Like I said, I was so jumpy. That was my fault. I jumped a little bit too early. He did a nice jump stop and it made me jump. So now it's a three point game. I'm going to use a double screen right here. At a wide open lane, but instead of going for the dunk, I decided to step back for the signature three-point shot and I miss I honestly thought that was a green release even my opponent did that's why he paused the game he told me after the game he thought it was a green and he was ready for overtime and the reason I did that step back is because it was a three-point game and that was the best shot I could honestly get and if you don't know that's James Harden hotspot as well so a step back into his hotspot I felt like that was a really good shot I also didn't want to play the foul game and take a two and foul and call a timeout on all of that. So I'd rather just try and take that three point shot at that situation. So Kyle Lowry struggled, it was a good game. So if you guys missed the double overtime thriller by the way, I think it was the game of the season, it was the previous video, just check out my channel. And uh, I'll see you all in the next one, drop a like and a comment, I really appreciate it.
Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow G Flash on Twitter.